Okay guys, how's it going? The Real Packs are bringing you guys in our awesome video, and we have a cool one here today. We are going to be switching out our son that you see right here with Beetlejuice. You guys will see how different it is and what's all going to happen with it. Can we survive? Um, what would it be like? Well, we're about to find out. So right now, you guys see in the habitable zone. Right now, you can see we are currently in the green. Uh, which means we can support life on obviously on our planet and anywhere it's red it's too hot when you get to the light blues is when it gets too cold so here we go that's our sun you see right here right in the middle we're about to switch it out with Beetlejuice and you guys are going to see how much it's going to change it's going to be pretty crazy so our sun isn't the biggest also isn't the smallest it's pretty much I would say in the middle, more lower compared to some other suns, but it's still, hey, it's why, it's why we're here and now it's why I'm making this video. If it wasn't for the sun, I wouldn't be here, you wouldn't be here, um, it, it wouldn't be good. So you can see, let's take a look here before we switch it over here, how small our sun is compared to the orbit of the plants and just our, our solar system here. And you'll see how much that's about to change in a few seconds here as I find Beetlejuice to replace it. So here we go. Remember what I showed you guys earlier and now take a look here and how different it is. So our Earth was a very, very tiny, it seemed like a tiny dot and now here's Beetlejuice. Pretty massive. It's almost touching Jupiter's orbit right now. So Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, all of them are inside Beetlejuice right now. and practically destroyed so not good and also as you'll see here in a second Jupiter is practically on fire right now um, the temperature currently right now it didn't update yet it was negative 51 but now it's gonna be probably four or five thousand degrees uh, Fahrenheit not too sure Celsius since I do live in the US we don't really talk much about Celsius but you can see how massive it is compared to Jupiter it's crazy it's crazy how big it is and yeah there, Jupiter Saturn even Pluto you'll see in a second here we are um, they're cooking they're definitely cooking here um, even Pluto I'll show you guys a little bit later Pluto is not even in the habitable zone right now it's too even hot for Pluto so it start Pluto is currently starting to bake as you see here in the bottom right, you'll see the temperature is currently negative 31. But as I speed time up here, you'll see it slowly getting hotter and hotter. Um, this is actually days going by. So for as far away as what Pluto was, you can now see how warm it's getting. And now it's 125 degrees Celsius now as it keeps going up. Now we're in the 200 range. It's starting to slow down now. So it'll be about... I think if I guess about the 230, 240 um, degrees Celsius there. So yeah, Pluto is even cooking right now. Earth didn't have, even stand a chance. Earth immediately got destroyed as soon as I put, as soon as I um, spawned in Beetlejuice on our replace our sun with Beetlejuice. So yeah, that is pretty crazy. As we go farther out here, we're gonna go to Voyager. I can find Voyager here. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so now here's the habitable zone now. Obviously, it's way too even hot. It's not even showing up in the red. Um, you can see Voyager now is barely... Well, yeah, Voyager is even still in the red, partly in the red. But yeah, this Beetlejuice is a massive, massive sun. It's also going to be affecting the orbits too, because the orbits are going to be way off now too. Because obviously it has more, it has, definitely has more gravity. So yeah, it's really, really crazy. We're going to slow it down here for a second. And we're going to go to Voyager. And I got a special surprise too coming. So definitely you can tell how small our sun really is compared to some of the other ones. I mean, Beetlejuice isn't even, isn't even the biggest one either. So yeah, so here we go. We're going to go to the Voyager. And you can see it's way past Pluto, way out there. And even though it's, it's kind of small compared to, it's how, you can definitely tell how far away it is compared to uh, Beetlejuice here. And as I now I make a special surprise, 
we're going to blow up Beetlejuice and see what happens here. Which, Beetlejuice, we're waiting for it to explode. And obviously, I was just watching him go. It's due to explode any time. Actually, it might have already happened. Uh, we just won't know until the light gets to us, which could be a couple hundred years. Which could happen years ago. Or it could happen yesterday. But either way, we're going to have to wait. And you can see the temperature on the Voyager spacecraft is now already in the thousands. And you can see all the inner planets that were there. Jupiter, Neptune, even Pluto. They're all currently getting destroyed when the supernova, uh, when the beetle just explodes. So yeah, it's all going to be a little bit crispy here. So, I mean, Earth was already gone. Um, but now you can see our planets, how much power um, a supernova actually has. It's cooking the, cooking these planets here. And the Voyager spacecraft now, what was it, 2,000 or 20,000? Degrees Celsius right now. Here's Uranus, barely hanging in there. It is losing mass very, very, very quickly. I see how hot it is right now. It's currently almost 12,000 degrees. So yeah, it is cooking, and now it doesn't exist anymore. Now it's burnt to nothing. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you guys for watching.